what happened to Dexia could start to happen to other banks unless the governments do get their act together and start. They have three things to do, and everybody agrees on the three things they have to do. They have to basically deal with Greece and the contagion from the Greece debt uh, potential de default, recapitalize the banks that would be impinged from that, and then deal with wider economic governance issues so that it all doesn't happen again in Europe. From Sarkozy and Merkel's point of view, they have now given themselves a time frame. And Rosemary, you watch. Sarkozy was very firm about this. He said, by the end of the month. Now, he may come to regret that particular deadline as we get closer to the G20, but the fact is, everybody now is going to be watching Germany and France, looking for these proposals, seeing if they're acceptable to other European countries, and then whether or not they can go forward to the G20. Uh, but Richard, you know, when we're talking about the end of this month, that's a long way away. When, when we're in the midst of this economic crisis and people are watching and waiting to see what Europe plans to do, should they not have some sort of answer, some detail of this plan a little earlier than that? Well, you might well say 18 months after the whole thing started, should they not have had something more by now? There, there does seem to be a denouement in the air. We're coming towards some sort of crisis, some sort of conclusion. If anybody involved do believe that this is coming to a conclusion. Now, this morning I'm going to meet President Jose Manuel Barroso, the European Commission president, and that's exactly the question I'm going to ask him. You know, firstly... It's fine for France and Germany to say that a plan will be put by the end of the, uh, of the month. But as the Americans always say, it's a day late and a dollar short. Uh, and, you know, what happens between now and the end of the month? The real worry is that, frankly, with 17 Eurozone members, 27 EU members, whatever plan is put on the table. They can't get agreement until absolute crisis happens. And that seems to be the only way the European Union ever makes any decision. Yeah, it's true, and a great concern for a lot of people as they stand by and watch what is happening. Richard Quest reporting there from Brussels.